Welcome back to the Daily Five Podcast. This is your host, Rainy Cage. And thanks to John Campy, I found a really cool idea I wanted to talk about. And that's the top five trilogies of all time. Um, you know, there's not a lot of trilogies to pick from that are actually fully, uh, really good. Like, there's trilogies I like, but I can admit that aren't very good, like the Matrix trilogy. Um, but I wanted to talk about what I consider to be the top five trilogy of all time. First, I'll throw in a couple honorable mentions. Um, Die Hard. I really love the Die Hard movies, but I like actually the first four Die Hard movies. Um, and uh, Bruce Willis, back in his heyday, those are some great movies. I enjoy repeat watching them, but uh, and they're just really fun action movies, but I didn't quite cut my top five list. Um, and then Indiana Jones, I probably about 10 or so years ago, maybe a little more, when Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was getting ready to come out, I went back and watched all of the Indiana Jones. I bought them at the time on DVD for some reason um, and rewatched them. And man, Indiana Jones is a really good series, but just did not quite cut my into my top five of all time. But it was close. It was definitely close. I do enjoy those movies. Harrison Ford is amazing in those movies. Um, but didn't quite make it. So let's get into my official top five. Number five is going to be the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Not the Hobbit. Because, you know, I've got mixed feelings on the Hobbit. But the original Lord of the Rings trilogy was really, really good. I read these books. Um, it was right when I was in high school when the first one came out. Uh... I, I was blown away just like everybody else. The world that uh, Peter Jackson had built, how he basically made the books come alive. The cast is fantastic. Uh, it's just a great uh, hero's journey kind of movie, and they're beautiful. I even love the super long extended versions of these movies. Um, I have them all on Blu ray, and uh, just, you know, every three or four years, I like to just pop in me some Lord of the Rings and spend a day on one of them five hour extended editions and you know the geek in me just loves the stuff so that's my number five the lord of the rings trilogy my number four is the dark knight trilogy um i will admit that the dark knight really pushes this into my top five because it's the greatest comic book movie ever made but batman begins is so good um it, it's really good it's very underrated uh, uh, you know, before then, Batman was teetering on the edge, and when Christopher Nolan brought back uh, Batman to the public in such a cool way, I just remember being in the theater and loving Batman Begins. And yes, The Dark Knight—I've talked about it a ton. It's my favorite comic book movie of all time. It's freaking amazing. And Dark Knight Rises—I um, haven't watched that one as much because it was a little disappointing, um, but it's still a really good movie. Uh, it's not perfect in my opinion, but it's really good. And, uh, you know, the Dark Knight trilogy deserves that four spot. My number three spot is Planet of the Apes. Just got to watch War for the Planet of the Apes a couple weeks ago. And while I still think that the second movie is the best of the trilogy, they are all really, really, really good movies. Um, even the first one, I've gone back and rewatched it, and every time I watch it, I like it a little bit more. The Planet of the Apes trilogy is so freaking good. It's crazy how good it is. Um, it's just so realistic looking. Sometimes you forget that you're watching, uh, you know, mocap. It's there's not real apes on the screen. It's crazy, but I love all the characters. I love how dark it is. Um, but yeah, that second movie is perfection. Uh, so yeah, Planet of the Apes ends are my third spot. My number two spot, I'm going to the granddaddy of animation, Toy Story. The Toy Story trilogy is so freaking good, and it's one people always forget about. Those movies get better with each movie. The third movie is a masterpiece of a movie. It is so good. Um, and it's just, the animation's great. The characters are fantastic. It makes you look at your toys, um, you know, in a different way. And it makes you look at your childhood and just, it's just, they're just so good. Funny, beautiful, Toy Story is amazing. And then, of course, my number one best trilogy of all time is the original Star Wars trilogy. Uh, it started it all. I, you know, don't like Return of the Jedi as much as most people. But uh, the first and second movie are, you know, in my top 
three, two, three movies of all uh, of all the Star Wars movies. And Return of the Jedi has some amazing moments and is a really good movie. So, um, of course, Star Wars is going to be my number one. It's the greatest trilogy of all time. Um, I know people are going to be like, what about Godfather or Rocky or Back to the Future? I, you know, Back to the Future I'm not obsessed with like everybody else. Um, Godfather, I couldn't stand the first movie. I never watched the other ones. And, you know, I'm just not into the Rocky movies, so... This is just my personal top five trilogies of all time. What do you guys think? Would you have a different trilogy in here? Maybe one I'm completely forgetting about. I'll be interested to see How to Train Your Dragon 3. Um, that could maybe slide in here, uh, but probably not. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Until next time, this is Rainy Cage. Peace out.